goes towards the charity's mission and 35% or less is spent on fundraising. So when it comes to giving, do your homework. The BBB has scam tracker databases so you can look up if, when and where a company has been reported for any sketchy behavior. If you've got something you want verified, let our researchers get to the bottom of it. You can find us on Facebook or Twitter or send an email to verify at WSA9.com. Melissa. We can verify the White House is now all decked out for Christmas. First Lady Melania Trump says this year's theme, patriotism. Decorations celebrate American customs and traditions, but don't forget the bling. And there's plenty of it. The grand foyer has been transformed into a winter garden filled with 22 shimmering evergreens. An estimated 30,000 visitors are expected over the holidays. Now, your WUSA 9 weather forecast, sponsored by Cox. And a lot of folks were getting a ton of snow today, a little early taste of winter. Albany, New York is already pushing near the top 10 all time snowiest uh, snow systems that they've ever seen. Snowstorms this nor'easter still not done yet. They've got more snow heading up to uh, New England as we look through the day tomorrow. But for us, as it pulls further away, we're going to take the clouds and we're going to take the rain showers and snow showers out of the equation. So by tomorrow morning for the bus stop, it's breezy, it's brisk, it's chilly. But you know what? We got the sunshine back for the bus stop in the morning. 39 in town. We'll have the feels like temperatures tomorrow morning running in the 20s. Right home, not bad either. Mid to upper 40s, little bit breezy, so it's going to feel crisp outside. More like 40 degrees in the afternoon. But with that added sunshine, not too bad out there. Let's go detailed for your Tuesday day planner. Again, 30s in the morning. What I want to point out is look at these winds throughout the day. They're going to be sustained about 10 to 15 with gusts 20 to 30. So it's going to be a breezy day out there. It's not going to be in the sunshine perfect because of those breezes. All right, by noon up to about 45 degrees, then we'll top out about 47 here in DC. By 6 o'clock, I do think we're going to start to see some clouds increasing. And let me show you the future cast for this. Weak weather disturbance coming in tomorrow night. Going to bring some extra clouds. Not a lot of moisture to work with, but this particular model run is excited about the potential of maybe a passing rain or snow shower by midnight tomorrow night along I-81, the Shenandoah Valley. In the overnight while you're asleep, maybe a rain or snow shower here in the metro. But as of right now, I think this is all out of here by your Wednesday morning commute. So from there, our week turns pretty quiet. The whole trend of the week is going to be a quiet, breezy, but chilly week. Look at these temps the next five days, 40s, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Maybe near 50 Friday. We might get lucky, but then it turns colder again into the start to the weekend. But in the meantime, enjoy this rain free weather the next few days. Good time to put those holiday decorations out. It's not until we get into the very end of the weekend that I think we have likely rain returning. Here's the future cast Friday. Another one of those weak systems coming in. Looks like it's mostly dry for the Metro sunshine on Saturday. Clouds increase Sunday. Let me show you this by Monday morning, 8 o'clock. Rain and showers coming in here. It looks like next Monday and Tuesday going to be pretty wet out there. No, not snow, but just rain. All right, here's your seven day forecast. A little bit breezy tomorrow, 48 degrees, 49 on Wednesday. We'll hang on to the dry weather through the weekend. Rain and showers returning early next week. Tough news for the Hoyas. Yeah, you were just at a Georgetown basketball game. Saturday. Yeah, on Saturday. Now a couple players are gone. Why, why did Georgetown remove two of their basketball players from the team, deleted their names off the team roster, and removed their bio from the school's website? We'll explain on the other side. It's a wonderful life. Get panoramic Wi-Fi, home life, and Contour TV. Call or visit Cox.com today. The Get Up Meetup. Join the Get Up DC team at McDonald's in Washington, DC, Thursday, December 12th, starting at 8 a.m. Take selfies, get a mug, and enjoy some.